This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection and service. Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Harakanux and welcome to another video. If you are a keyboard enthusiast or at least uh, starting to appreciate the immense options we have today, you know, everything from the different form of the keyboard body to the lighting features to additional I.O. ports and of course exploring your preferred switches for typing or gaming. Now there's a whole new way to customize your keyboard that I think has gained popularity among uh, consumers and that is replacing your keycaps that could spice up your appreciation of your favorite favorite keyboard. Now Thermaltic is realizing this potential with introduction of full metal keycaps and today we'll quickly go over of how they feel. First there are three sets of five gaming keys for your WASD zone, the QWER zone and your arrow keys with the multi-use cap that has the Thermaltic logo and the keycap removal tool is included per set. These five keys are priced at $20 so it is quite expensive per key, however Thermaltic also sells a full keyboard set of 38 keycaps for $70. That certainly offers better value, but it's still pricey. Now, so the reason of why these are so expensive is because they're made of zinc alloy. It is expensive to manufacture and this wouldn't be your casual upgrade. The build quality is outstanding and it would add that next level of rigidity to your keyboard. They are compatible with any MX Cherry stem and sit just slightly higher than the rest of the keys on a Thermaltake keyboard while in line with the rest of the keys on all other keyboards. The lettering is engraved and UV coated for ultra durability, but over time it has proven to wear out to look terrible. You can look at some of the pictures on Reddit. If installing a top of a backlit switch, the lighting will not reveal through as the keycap is fully solid. So you have to take into account the weight of the keycap as they are heavy and it feels that you need to apply more force for the actuation to register. They are more slippery than standard plastic caps and also get noticeably cold. With our MX Cherry Blue switches, the rebound with a full zinc alloy keycap was not as snappy, uh, so I tried them on the new Novatouch TKL keyboard from Cooler Master, utilizing the topper switch, and I liked that more. The rebound was noticeably faster, and the keyboard regained some character as well. Plus, hearing that metal clunk as I used the keys was weirdly satisfying. Uh, that would sound really cool with a full set, but probably would not be comfortable for full day typing. Now let's not forget the alternatives if you are thinking about replacing your keycaps. Wasd Keyboards is an excellent source for application specific and game specific keycaps, also different colors and materials. It is interesting though to see Thermaltake branch into keyboard accessories and I love how these feel, the build quality is great and the extra flair these add to your keyboard. However, the 5 key set is extremely expensive and this for typers would be extremely uncomfortable with a full key set. Plus only time will tell and of course usage of how the top coating wears out as we have seen on Reddit some pretty terrible pictures. But let us know if this is something that interests you as an upgrade with a comment below. I know I'll keep the metal keycaps for now on my Novatouch TKL. Uh, thanks to that linear response that worked well, uh, well at least better in my opinion than on tactile switch. And well, that will be it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more similar content, and we'll see you in the next one.